Einstein described matter as a form of energy, just as ice cubes, steam, and rain are all forms of water. Everything is made up of molecules, and molecules consist of atoms that are in a permanent state of flux. This constant movement creates energy. Hence, every single thing, objects, animals, and people, are constantly giving off the energy they're creating. Everything in our world is vibrating with energy. So. If you can learn how to marshal, nurture, and steer your own energy, discern and strategize how to engage and disengage with other people's energies, and reconcile with the energies of the world around you, you can begin taking back control of your life. You become the most in control of your personal destiny as possible. Practical magic shows you how. Level one includes energy foundations and basics, and are available to the general public for single purchase. Levels two and three are very advanced with homework, and are only available via the Hierophant and High Priestess tier over on Patreon, Patreon.com/slash/TheArtigan. I'm sending you all of my very best photons, and I look forward to supporting you. At any stage, at any point on your spiritual adventures, that I may. Hello, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. Welcome to your sidebar with me, our private one-on-one mini conference, where I share some psychic information. We get more guidance from the tarot, and it has something to do with something going on in your life right now. And what I'm getting for you, Libra, is it's like you're making a new... Okay, there's a couple ways to explain this. There's the path that you walk, maybe from your home or just those trails. And the ground is worn and there's like a little dip, a little divot from where you walk back and forth. What this is, is a whole new path. It's a whole new, but the way she's showing it to me, it's like a groove, like an indentation. So what could be really new, a new way of looking at something, a new relationship, a new way of doing things, a new job, a new approach for some of you, is actually going to turn into like a long-standing practice or a new long-standing ritual. It's going to be the new groove. It's going to be the new indent. It's going to be the new walkway that is worn from your footsteps, walking over it many, many, many times. So, ooh, Libra. You're nostalgic, but it's like painful. You're working through some stuff. Mm, Let's get some, let's see what the tarot has to say. Oh, the other way that she was showing it to me to explain is Brain chemistry, neuroplasticity of the brain. So when your thoughts, you know, you have certain neuronal pathways and when you, when something happens or when you think of something, it automatically goes on that little journey. It already goes to those thoughts. It already goes to those feelings and about and how to sort of rewire oh, the R's and the W's, I swear, how to rewire those neuronal pathways so that when something happens or when you think of something you don't automatically go negative or go and assume or go and accuse or go you know you don't automatically do something like that you you have to really try and steer your attention steer your thoughts and put it on a new track 
electronically in your brain, in your brain chemistry, in, your, in the electricity in your brain. So that's the other way to explain it. What other guidance do we have for Libra's pleat? Thank you. Ooh. Okay. So you have the three of swords at the bottom of the deck, and then you have in reverse the nine of cups. So, um, oh man, oh man, Libra, nine of cups, chariot, and the emperor all in reverse, all in reverse. <sighs> the three of swords, the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Every single one of us has a pain threshold. Every single one of us has the amount of pain we need to feel before we learn something and before we grow and before we change and before we, you know, it's like, but not everyone can actually tolerate that kind of pain. Or it's like so much that there's no growing, there's no changing, there's no, there's only a sort of staying trapped in that, staying trapped. And that's not to say that anyone's like low vibrational and, you know, it, there's no spiritual judgment for anything ever that I say. Sometimes it's just take a family that's been inbred for generations and they're born with they're born with absolute non capacity it's unfair to say oh well they're not high vibrational they're not trying hard enough you know what i'm saying they're just they can that's a very clear clear demarcation but it applies for People that are not inbred for many generations as well. I'm getting Sin City. I don't know what that's about. I don't know who that's for. Maybe you're a fan or you like the movie. I don't know. But I'm getting Sin City looking at this Three of Swords. Hmm. Let's dig into these cards. The Nine of Cups, the Chariot, the Emperor. Fantastic cards, all in reverse. And it flipped in reverse. I saw it in reverse, picked it up in reverse, and I went to look at the bottom of the deck card to clarify and confirm, and yep, it's in reverse. For some of you, this is reflection on something that you've already let go. I feel the stronger connection to the Libra sun, moon, rising where it's like maybe it's part of this lunar cycle, something from like the past week. We're still on the new moon in Scorpio energy. You're overcoming something really difficult, Libra. And you don't want to. It's like, it's just being, you're just, um, you're seeing the results of any kind of resistance you have to this stuff. So you're trying for things. You want things. You want things for yourself. You want things for your family. But there's an energy blockage. And there's distortion. The distortion is like, with this emperor in reverse, it's like you could even be really inflexible on something where you won't consider, you won't consider anything else. Or this could be someone in your energy field, Libra, someone who is just like, this could be like a raging alcoholic. This could be someone that cannot control their emotions. I'm actually picking up you controlling your energies. Here's the thing. You're held to a bit of a higher standard, Libra, because you're very intelligent. And like, even though you know you feel heartbreak or you feel disappointment, you also are smart enough to know why and what got you there. And like, 
you're, I'm, the energy I'm picking up is that, um, like maybe you joke about going off and making horrible decisions, or maybe you joke about, like you, I feel like you just know, you already know, um, pushing for something won't work, but you, you do it anyway to see if like it might kind of energy could be this person I'm picking up too, but you're being challenged to just let all this go. Let all this go. It's not working. It's not working. Trying to um, brute force, trying to push, trying to... Um, and when I say brute force and push, it's not the way that an Aries does it. It's the way that you do it. So all of your mental tactics, all of your, any, your own little flavor of that, because every single one of us has a way of pushing when we really should not push. So you're being challenged, Libra, to step back, regroup. It's, it's not the time to... It's not the time. This is very retrograde energy, to be honest. And Mercury's like out of the shadow as of like 2 o'clock PST today, Thursday, November 19th. You know, this could be Mars. This could be Mars retrograde working on you in your seventh house that I'm picking up on. Mars is direct. Mars is direct, but not really going to be returning to full vigor for some time yet. So you want to still take it easy. Your partner could be kind of like this. Your partner, this could all be about your partner, Libra. And they're pushing and pushing and pushing. And it's like, you know better than to stay with this person who can't control themselves. But you, you're, you're having a really hard time disconnecting from them. Because you're a Libra. If that's the case, they're only mirroring something inside of you that you're trying to fix, that you're trying to alchemize, you're trying to transform that. So instead of trying to do it for the other person or to help this other person control themselves or do things in a different way, live life differently, let it go, let that person go, let them come back to you if it's meant and work on looking for that in yourself and for being able to see that in yourself. Like, honestly, you don't have to admit that to anyone or me or anyone, but if you admit it to your, oh my God, 11 minutes, this went so long. They're going long today, Libra. I'm sorry, I'm going to wrap this up, but look for that in yourself. Be honest with yourself so that you can change that, so that you can control your disappointment. You want to control your disappointment more so you don't give people the power to disappoint you. Okay. Goodness gracious, Libra. I'm going to leave that there. Um, if you like more context, I put that up. Um, I do 12 live streams a week for all 12 zodiac signs, and I do multiple spreads. I do oracle cards for every single one. It's really cool and fun. That's in the lowest tier on Patreon. The lowest, the lowest tier also includes Capricorn as well as access to the community it's a great group over there on patreon I, you'll love them and it also includes daily astrology and tarot posts so every step up from there is just like more and more and more with like monthlies and then classes and then personal readings so you know bookmark the website hop on hop off toggle up toggle down i'm just happy that i have it organized and working really well and up and running and that i can use this and that to channel all of this stuff for you guys so um take really great care libras there's I, I i still do psychic spying i still do readings they're on my website 
it's cheaper on the highest tier on Patreon. You save like a hundred bucks at least, I think. And but I just like got way overwhelmed. That's why I had to raise my rates. Did not want to, but I had to. And um, so I, that's why I recommend Keen. That link in the description box below because they there's a lot of psychics over there and they have like specialists and all that jazz. They've been around for like twenty years, which is really really cool. So check those guys out. Give them a chance. They're it's a way lower. Um, price point so you can try different psychics and find your person find your psychic spy and you know someone that that's really sharp and accurate and resonates and um, it's, it's going to be cheaper than my my rates on my website so I'll, um, I'll, I'll be sending you my good photons this week Libra absolutely so I love you guys. Take care and I will see you next week. Until then, Libras, many beautiful blessings upon all of your beautiful head stoppings. Mm -hmm.